It's the KSO Show. I'm Derek Young, joined by Grant Flanders. I almost called you Drew Galloway for a second. He's not here. Just at one time. Yeah, at one time. It's it's Tuesday of week three where the Wildcats will play Nevada. Uh, we're still not on the appropriate schedule with our podcast. This is typically your Monday podcast, but you're probably hearing it on Tuesday. If you waited a day later, it's Wednesday. And maybe you listen to uh, Nelly me and fans pod on monday and if you, you better. didn't go back and listen to that good stuff talking about the game from from last weekend from yeah. this last weekend. so and kansas state defeated southern illinois um probably a little bit more of a complicated game than they were bargaining for obviously the skylar thompson injury played a huge role and and that's probably what we're going to lead up to in in this podcast this one's about kind of what the big picture what the game means mm-hmm. but these next two games because we know now that Skylar Thompson is out indefinitely. Per head coach Chris Kleiman, we're hearing it, it could be just a few weeks. Um, I think he's aiming to be back for the Oklahoma game. We'll see if that's ambitious or, or a little too ambitious or not. But let's just say we know for a fact that he's going to miss the next two football games, of course. So, um, And with that being said, they're 2-0, and maybe two games without Skylar Thompson. These two games become rather important. They would have been even if Skylar Thompson was at, you know, the starting quarterback for these following two games. But you have kind of a gauntlet. You got through the Southern Illinois game, but now you have Nevada, then mm-hmm. Oklahoma State, then Oklahoma, then Iowa State. Yep. So these, this next four-game stretch is the toughest stretch of the season. It is the worst time for Skylar Thompson to go down with an injury and for and for Will Howard to look shaky. But, you know, I've thought about it more. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a somewhat – smarter Will Howard on the field than we saw on Saturday where he made some plays where he was throwing the ball um, in bad situations. But the fact is, that's what it comes down to, is Will Howard going to be able to be trusted from time to time to throw the football? And if not, this defense is going to be put in tough situations. Yeah, they will. They, I mean, and they were last week, even though they still stepped up to the mm-hmm. bell and, and answered it. They were last year at, at times, too. And that's been kind of the bugaboo when it comes to Will Howard. He actually produces scoring drives. He move, They can move the ball with Will Howard at quarterback. Yep. He's, he's shown that he can do that. But he's also shown that, you know, if you give him five drives, he's going to have one good one or one and a half good ones, and, and then the other four might be a turnover. So th- that's the problem. If he takes care of the football, the Wildcats are going to be in about just every game with him at quarterback yep. because he can produce scoring drives. The and problem his defense is, is really that Yeah, good. and his defense is obviously better than it was a season mm-hmm. ago. But the problem is he's, he does have to take care of the football. If he, if he doesn't take care of the football and we see the same Will Howard that we've seen for – you know, the last six games or so, then it's going to be problematic, not just against Nevada, but also next week against – or the following week against Oklahoma State and any other game that, you know, he may have to play in because that's the one thing he has to clean up is, is ball security. And it's not even just the interceptions. He's He, he had a fumble against uh, – in a game last year that, that lost yep. that lost it um, late in the game. He fumbled another one that was a scoop and sco- – uh, mm-hmm. all, I think it was a scoop and score yeah. against uh, Southern Illinois. Or, or another pick six against Illinois, but he did lose a fumble where he was sacked as well. So it's also he's just got to, you know, even when he's getting sacked, he's got to tuck that ball away and mm-hmm. secure it. So that's an issue for him, has been, and obviously still is. And I don't know if that gets cleaned up in a week. Well, and then what's worrisome too um, is the fact, is this just a game thing? Because in practice he seems to be making all the right strides. The coaches say he's the most improved player from last year, not just physically but also on the field, both things. He's just – exceeded expectations from this coaching staff that's why i wonder that's why i leave one glimmer of hope that maybe he can at least be somewhat more game managey and not throwing the ball away is a full slate of you know practice also not you know your head coach isn't gonna i i love that Kleiman cried about uh skyler's injury on the field but i i'd be lying if i thought that couldn't rattle a kid especially i'd be rattled as a quarterback backup quarterback in that situation seeing my coach go down um crying about you know a player that he cares about deeply um and he not that he cares about will howard deeply too and that's why he saves you know will howard and says i have full confidence in him when i'm sure there's some doubts going on right now in the coach's mind thinking this guy is missing passes that he normally or making the wrong decisions that he normally makes in practice yeah i mean 
Well, we'll see. This will be the, the test, obviously, uh, and, and we'll we'll talk about matchups later in the week, obviously, and, you know, stopping Carson Strong is going to be a, a big deal, but I, I'd be remiss. I mean, the Wildcats are 2-0, Nevada's 2-0. There, there, there's a lot of tough games coming up, but that first three games with Big 12 where this kind of seems like a swing, swing game in a season, and, yeah. it, and it was the one I picked when, when we ta- discussed that, the swing game. It's a um, good one. You, you, could say, you could say Stanford was probably in terms of making mm-hmm. a bowl, and I think that it was, but in terms of, you know, do you go from a, a decent season to a good season or a good season to a great season, I think this Nevada game is pretty critical in terms of what level um, this season could be for Kansas State, and obviously it's troublesome that you won't have Skylar Thompson for yeah. it. But you almost just have to find a way to escape. It doesn't matter how you do it. You can win the game three to zero. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter. You got to find a way to grind out one of these next for, for two games. If you get both, great. Yep. But I think it's important to either come out victorious against Nevada or Oklahoma yeah. State before you face the Sooners and Cyclones. Because if you don't get either one, and and you face you know perhaps the two best teams in the Big Twelve, obviously Iowa State's going through their struggles too. But perhaps the two best teams that I mean, then you could be looking at a two and four start and an 0-3 start to Big 12 play, obviously. So, you know, Oklahoma State maybe is just as critical as this one, and maybe you got to get both. I, you can make an argument for it, but I do think that you have to get at least one. I think Oklahoma State is the most important out of those two, even though Nevada might be even the better team, probably I, is I, offensively. I think you're right because just you don't want to – Exactly. You don't want to lose the Big the 12. 0-3 of the Big 12. Exactly. And, and and the thing is, is this Nevada team is – is good enough too to where I wouldn't. I'm not. I'm probably at the end of the week. Spoiler alert: going to pick Nevada to win this game. I mean, a lot of people probably will at this point with Will Howard under center instead of Skylar Thompson. But if Will Howard can prove us wrong, uh, he goes into Oklahoma State. I like his chances against Spencer Sanders and that uh, that team. It'd be a battle of the defenses and uh, Spencer Sanders, or I mean, they'd be better off going with the more game manager Illingsworth in that situation to battle of the game managers if. Will Howard can turn into that. If not, if he's not beating Nevada, I want to ask you, D.Y., do you look towards Jaron Lewis, or does it completely depend on how that game against Nevada plays out? It, well, it'll probably depend on how the first quarter goes against Nevada, yeah. because, because you can't let that game get away from you at any point. So if he's you know still making the same mistakes, then there might be some questions and to answer at that point, um, and I'm sure we'll you know, I, I, I'm sure we'll hear full confidence from Chris Kleiman about Will Howard all week. But, mm-hmm. you know, uh, how long that leash is it will be interesting to follow on Saturday. And hopefully that question won't have to be answered and Will Howard's just, you know, good enough and um, has a, you know, a turnover free game yeah. because that's what they really need. Because I, I think they're going, I think he's able to lead an offense to score enough points. It's just about taking care of the football at the end of the day. And, and you said, you know, talk about Nevada and uh, the, you you might pick them to win I mean you, it's not crazy obviously and like you said maybe there might be quite a bit of few quite a few people that do pick the Nevada Wolfpack to be Kansas State this Saturday they are the favorite to I think a two and a half point favor going into it so um going to be an interesting game obviously the Wildcats will be without Skylar Thompson uh that'll do it for now the next time you hear us we'll probably be discussing what we heard from chris Kleiman at his weekly press conference before the nevada game and and perhaps something we heard about the players as well for grant flanders i'm Derek young you've been listening to the kso show tell them tell your friends tell your please friends.